my name is Logan and welcome to Planet Zoo. Last time we built a zoo where the animals escaped, especially the kangaroo-like tigers who couldn't wait to make their Netflix debut. After trying different tactics over the last few weeks, I finally figured out how to make the perfect sky zoo. A place where you can literally fall to your demise if you don't watch your step. And you know we just need to warn these fine raisin-eyed people before they get there. Watch your step. It's the perfect name for this zoo. Imagine going to a random zoo you found on Yelp and looking up above to see the earth literally creating itself above you. I think I'd be running back for one of those teleporters that get people in here in the entrance. So like I said, I've been playing around with this idea for a few weeks now and always ran into one hiccup, getting the people up these super long stairs. I thought there was a limit to the number of stairs that they would actually climb, but after the longest queue video on Planet Coaster that we just did, also made by this developer, I found out that there isn't. But but they do need something to get them in the door. See, they won't just walk in even if there is stuff to do upstairs. Oh no, they need something on the ground floor. Two small exhibits with a beetle and a random snake just chilling, minding its own snake life. Sounds perfect. Now I'm just ready and willing to climb the Empire State Building to see a giraffe. Ah, and look at them start to rush in like a bunch of zombies. And the first thing they do is to go to see that one snake and that one beetle. They're actually running to go and do that. I wonder if any of them will bypass these little exhibits and actually just go up the stairs. Now here's the moment of truth. Are they gonna go up the Empire State Building stairs to get to the top? Yes, they are. And here we go, folks. Some of them are just bypassing the beetle and the snake all together, and look at them just go. Can you believe that they're willing to climb all of these death-defying stairs just to get up into our zoo? I mean, look at this guy, Kelvin Sharma. That definitely sounds like a made-up name. And I wonder at what point you decide that you aren't a great parent for bringing your kids here. I mean, look around. There isn't any railing of any kind. I made a literal floating death plate that demands your sacrifice. We even have two visiting players from the Planet Zoo multiverse. So if one of these two people is you and you happen to be watching this Planet Zoo video, well, I hope your avatar didn't fall to its death. And I love how these people are just running back to the keeper entrance. Like, they're like, we brought our kids. We want to get an up-close personal view of all the animals. Look at them enjoying the exhibit, but they're just looking at a fence right now. And they're like, wow, that was a great exhibit. I loved it so much. Man, I wish we could just make a tiger pit down below and have people walk off of the pass and direct directly into it. It would save me so much money on food costs. I pray that somebody mods this game. Okay, I want more exhibits, but don't want to just expand this one. Oh no, that's not happening today. We need to make a death-defying walkway to see the best animal in this game that I could find. This giant tiger land snail. This is it. Seriously, this is it this one thing here. Then you get to walk that death-defying path back. It sucks, and I love it. Maybe that makes it the best thing here. Let me know in the comments down below. In fact, I'm just gonna get rid of everything around it, just so that this is the only thing there. Imagine risking your family's life to see a snail. Is anybody else loving this thing as much as I am right now? Like, imagine being this incredibly poor snail right now. We messed things up so bad that the grass is just starting to grow through all of the asphalt. And now I wonder if people will actually go and see it. Yup, it turns out they will. Ah, oh, that was worth risking my life. I'm starting to wonder if we should just start making even more islands. Just flood this landscape to the point where you can't get sunlight to the ground anymore. Or at least only in little patches. Or maybe I can eat away at the islands like I did with this one. Like there's seriously no safety now because I made the pass on land instead of just elevating them. I feel like this entire episode is a serial killer's absolute dream. So we're gonna put in this elephant habitat and then I'm just gonna fill it with these elephant skeletons. I really just want to show these guys what happens if you mess around too much in my park. So somebody in the workshop actually made this hyena habitat and it's based on the elephant graveyard from the Lion King. So it would be a shame if somebody just placed that, you know, just directly facing our elephant sanctuary. I mean, come on, that's pretty sick, am I right? I feel like the inner gaming psychopath in me is really loving making these uh, guardrail-less paths going into all of these different floating islands. And on the way in to see the cheetahs, you can see this plane that completely crashed and died up here. Ah, I just love the thought of reading all of the conspiracy theories online about how these floating islands came to be. Wow, isn't it just so beautiful. The cheetahs can run and run and run around in this tiny little habitat before running off the edge into their deaths. The majestic lions can hop around before climbing up on this little mound here and just jumping off. The Indian elephants can nervously look at the skeletons of their fallen brothers and sisters, while the hyenas kind of salivate over the skeletons of their fallen brothers and sisters. And don't forget about the slug, who seems to have developed sort of a cult following. Look what I found in the Steam Workshop. It's just a bunch of planes. Should we just confuse 
confuse these people even more with this conspiracy theory that I'm floating around and just have planes be flying everywhere in the sky, but they don't actually go anywhere. And I totally forgot about this David statue from the last episode. We just put his head poking out of the ground staring at you as you come to see the elephants. Yes, I, this rockhead, as the guardian of all these floating zoo islands. Please, for the love of God, somebody get my brother's butt from away from me. And just for the memes, we're gonna put a Bass Pro Shop logo right above this guy's butt. So all of these paths have me wondering if we need a better way for these people to get around. And what better than this Jeep teetering on the brink of killing everybody inside just to get to the next exhibit. So I think I finished the track and we're starting our first ever test of it. So far it's going so great. Look at this, we have our own little stations here that people can get on and off, although we only go in one giant loop. Imagine just sitting in this right now. Leave a comment down below if you'd actually be brave enough not only to visit this park, but to actually ride on this little tour vehicle. I love how this game just doesn't even care at all that there, I got rid of the track supports the rest of the way. Like the guy who's driving this vehicle right now is just like, fine, this is fine. Everybody's still trying to get inside that keeper gate for some odd reason or another. And we start making our journey the rest of the way back to the lion habitat. And after placing all of the stations, the ride is in. And I made it free just to see how many people will actually go on this death defying stunt. As I was trying to get this thing to work, look what I just saw. Two of our elephants escape from their enclosure and this one is a mere steps away from walking off the edge. Will it do it? Oh my god, please don't. Some, for some reason I don't want you to walk off the edge, especially not the elephant. I tortured the elephants enough with the graveyard and the skeletons and the hyenas and they just don't deserve this. This is just the wrong video for animals to be escaping, but you know what, if a bunch of like hyenas want to come terrorize the people here and make them, you know, maybe run off the cliff into their deaths, I wouldn't mind that. Nobody even wants to ride on this stupid jeep yet, but you know what, if animals are escaping and trying to kill you, that's probably the safest place you could be right now, it's just like over the land. Oh my god, I finally got people to show up on it. This stupid little kid said that my place is a dump. Well, that's pretty big talk from a guy named Cyrus Pointdexter. You know what, Cyrus? I wish I could do something to just drop you off the edge right now. Imagine thinking it's acceptable to take your kid on this. But then again, it is Cyrus, so you know what? Let the kid die, who cares? And just look at the background and all the people just like running through the park right now. How is it so great that Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster both let you defy physics in just the best way possible? They did it again. This is the last time I get habitats from the workshop, I'll tell you that much. If big fat elephants can climb out of it, then anything could get out. Look at the line for this one now. Everybody hates this place so much that they just just want to test their fate and see if, you know, death is an option. And my serial killer comments earlier really just had me thinking about these paths a little bit more. Like some guy comes in, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't even see him there. He just bumped into me and before I knew it, I heard him screaming and falling down. And you know what? I don't even think the cops would care at that point if I'm being honest. They'd probably wonder why Steve came to this park to begin with. Look how stupid these people are. They'll go to the habitat right at the edge and be like, oh my God, these grizzly bears look so great. I'm having so much fun. I'm surprised there's no gift shops in the zoo. Uh, what's that? Planet Zoo Capitalist video? Okay, yeah, I may have gone just a little bit overboard by placing, you know, all the same shops right next to each other. But hey, they only had like three to choose from, unlike, you know, Planet Coaster. And why make a separate Capitalist video for Planet Zoo when I already did one from Planet Coaster? And we can just torture these people more than they already are being tortured in the Sky Park. Although guests seem to be better than ever in this park, so maybe they're not being tortured. Maybe a Sky Zoo is really, you know the zoo of the future. Do you guys think that we should just put like a crap ton of these donation bins everywhere? But instead of giving any of the money to like charity, we're just gonna keep it for ourselves. We just put them on the middle of the pass all the way up so that people are forced to donate. I mean, I know it says that we have unlimited money in this game, but is unlimited really enough? And these dang elephants just escaped again. You know what? I don't even care anymore. They're just gonna keep doing it over and over. So let Maher you do your thing. Its welfare is 100%, so it's obviously having the time of its life. And now it's just back inside of its exhibit. Yeah, like I said, you gotta be careful with these uh, workshop content blueprints. Okay, so I found out why everybody's just crowding around the keeper gate for the bears. It's because they're right next to it. And somehow these people are all Superman with x-ray vision and can just see right through that and see them in there. So it really looks like they'll just crowd around to wherever the animal is, even if, you know, there's earth and 
fence is in the way. So I just shut down our little Jeep excursion for a second so that I could add 10 cars instead of just one. I know it's not possible in this game, but I really just want to hope that this track will break and, you know, everybody will fall to their deaths. A boy can dream, can he? I'm just going to put another one of these naked man heads right in the ground there, and he's just watching and judging you as you wait in line. And this is definitely someone's middle-aged dad right here. This entire time, our lions have been stuck in the trading center, and I had no idea that they were even in there. I was wondering why nobody seemed to care about going to see the lions at all. And here they come, being delivered in tiny little boxes. Wow, I love science. Although I think they're stuck there. <laughs> Look at them just standing there. They have nowhere that they can possibly go right now. I completely screwed these guys up. Maybe we should help them out a bit. We'll just create that little land bridge and hope that they're smart enough to take it. Look, it's that mystical four-tailed lion. Okay, I finally made a land bridge that was good enough. And God, I wish these people would just fall right into there. And they're escaping already. <laughs> wow, those lions brought in like an extra 700 people into our park. Like I said before, think how much of food cost we'd save if these people just fell inside. I mean, there's 1,622 people here. Do you think anybody would notice like one or two missing? And with a super successful physics defying jeep rail and with six floating zoo islands and indian elephants who absolutely hate to be inside of their enclosure i'm going to go ahead and end this video there don't forget i post weekly on tuesdays thursdays and saturday at noon central standard time like this video subscribe to my channel and comment down below on what you would do with the sky zoo maybe i could even find a way to upload this to the steam workshop for all of you guys to kind of do what you want with it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you again at the next upload